That's hilarious. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. The ponies were all inside the barn, and we drove them in down to feed lunch. And they just flew out of that barn so fast. I know you're not starving. I guess Sam fed them breakfast inside. Yeah, he fed them like him and Gabby. Between the two of them, I'm ready to kill them. Because, not really, I would never kill anybody. But, honestly, like, horses are able to go outside in the wind. Like, they are. They have blankets on. They, it's safe for them to eat outside in the wind. But yeah, he is very overcautious. And I think it's good to be cautious, but. <laughs> oh my God, you're doing it again. You're feeding them inside again? They wanna go out. Oh my girl. Oh. <laughs> She's coming to me. She, she was coming to me and then Penny, or and then she thought Gracie was coming. Come on. Come on, Penny Pickle. Come on, princess. She's like, Laura, I haven't seen you hardly at all this weekend. Yeah, I'm coming down. We're gonna do some Penny Pickle work. Okay, she doesn't like the ice. She's very careful. She's a very careful girl. <laughs> and they've been pooping in the arena. That's why I don't like to feed them in here. I know. There we go, yeah. I got nothing for you. Yeah, here. No, you should give her treats because then she'll like you because. I don't want slobber on my hammer going out. Yeah, but she doesn't slobber. Good job, Ben. Oh my God. All right, we love you, I love you. Oh, look at her, pet her. Aw, yeah, she's not like a super affectionate horse. She's got good movement in her neck though. <laughs> You're very cute. Go eat, we'll be back. We'll be back, we'll be back, Penny Pickle. Let me rub your face, or scratch your eyes. See, I do this to her all the time and she gets so annoyed. All right, so we are on our way. We're going to Costco and then I'm gonna come back and work with my mare. I'm excited. Got my shopping clothes on though. We did find another horse today to look at. Like, I'm gonna tell you guys how we do horse shopping. I know it's not the same for all of you guys and you all do it differently, but we do it this way and it works for us. So, well, I mean, we could do it a bunch of different ways, but I'll tell you what we do. So how it works for us when we buy a horse is that we don't ever even look at a horse until it's approved by our trainer. So trainer will send us video or picture and information about a horse that he finds and thinks is appropriate for us. And then we discuss it back and forth and we rule out the horse or not. There's like a list of criteria that we want for this horse because we don't want Sophie to outgrow it again really quickly. Even though we had Finn for three years, we don't want Sophie to outgrow her horse again. So we're like trying to be really selective and really precise on what we get. She's only 12, so the chance of her ever Ever having to get another horse again is really high and we're just going through the process of trying to rule out horses that we know are not going to be a good fit for her so when our trainer finally finds one that he thinks uh, that we all agree could be the one then it will arrange to go and look at it but we haven't got to the point yet where we are going to look at a horse but we've been looking online at a lot of horses you guys probably remember that when we bought Chino, we went, we did the exact same process. Our trainer sent us so many horses and said we should look at this one or we should look at that one and we ruled them all out through like watching videos or um, it's so many different variables we were able to rule out if they were going to be a good fit or not. And then when Chino came along, both of our trainers said I think we need to see this horse and then we did go and see him. So even before we go to see a horse, we've always, like we've already checked out all the videos and all the information and we've gone through so much information so if it seems like we just go and buy the first horse that we see it's not that it's that we're ruling out horses through a huge process long before we choose one to go see so by the time we do go see a horse it's usually the horse that we already feel is going to be a good fit and then when we go and try it it's to see if he if the horse lives up to what we thought it was like in the videos hopefully that makes sense so right now we are shopping, uh, horse shopping for Sophie. We're looking online, we're ruling out horses, we're searching for horses, we have people sending us horses, our trainers looking for horses, like I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're looking in earnest right now and uh, every once in a while something really promising comes up. And there is a horse right now that is looking really promising. Um, we're just waiting for more information and video and stuff, but 
but just from looking at the ad it, he kind of looks like he fits what we need so stay tuned for that i'll keep you guys updated and i'll try and keep you guys updated about our horse search for sophie uh i think i said sam and i are headed to classical right now to do a little bit of shopping and then we're going to go home so i can work with my mare because it is a working day for her did you see how excited <laughs> she wants to see me though like if i miss seeing her for a couple of days she gets antsy and she gets excited when i get down there we don't need that so what would you use it for horses yeah horse massage yeah it's nice the work i always tie my purse to the cart so people can't steal it because i walk away from it sometimes i'm hoping to get an ice machine today that's my plan she found the ice machine. I found a foam that I want. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When you upgrade, you should wow. bring it here. Though. That's super cute. Why? Is the upgrade for phones cheaper here? Y yeah, it's actually cheaper. But you can use the same plan. So. Oh. We got an ice maker. We got an ice maker. It, and we have no room for it. We also got a scoop. And a scoop. So you can scoop ice. Your ice. Wow, that's neat, you guys. Um, we I'm excited got, for co iced um, coffee. We also got my beautiful new pants. So we got a bunch of new pants today. And a dirty face. I haven't brushed your hair yet. We that. point out all the bad stuff that we it's haven't done. Well, yeah. it's a holiday. Yeah. Because we're not afraid to show our real selves, right? And I can't even believe Sophie is growing. Like, Did you hear that? My she is practice. so tall. Gabby keeps grabbing my phone, and since she has face ID on it, she, she keeps changing her name on Instagram to the better sister. So when I put in front of the better sister, I put not, so that it says not the better sister. So on your Instagram account, she goes in... Uh, uh, Snapchat. So in your Snapchat, she says... She puts her name as the better sister. And then you change it to not the better sister? Mm -hmm. mm, interesting. Sam is making ribs for supper Trixie's just hanging do you guys see her she's just hanging she's got one foot on the rock one foot hanging off the rock she's just just chilling just relaxing <laughs> she's such a funny little bearded dragon like imagine be, being so happy in your house you just hang <laughs> yeah we know so Sam's got supper under control. The girls are still in the car. Gabby and Kaylee. Kaylee's here. I do not know why. Oh, that was Gabby, I betcha. No, that was me. Oh, I don't know why they're in the car. I have no idea, but I'm going down. I'm taking a few minutes right now while everybody is occupied, and I'm going down to work with my girl. Gabby and Kaylee are hanging in the car because that's what we do when no, we're teenagers. No, because Laura banned me to the car because I wasn't allowed in the house. I said, wait, let me go in and make sure it's clean first, and now you're allowed to go in the house. But also, you have bare feet. Okay. Don't get my feet. Okay. All right. Don't get my feet. All right. So, <laughs> Kaylee's gonna try. To make a lot of money. No, no feet allowed. Okay. Money. If you guys see her feet in this video, no, Laura's don't send her a hundred messages no. saying that Laura's her feet were in the video. Out. Laura's All right. I'll cut out her feet. I hate my feet. Okay. okay. We have the birthday cake. Also, don't lay my chin. <laughs> okay. So I don't think they can tell. So, anyways. Uh, we're letting Kaylee try our suckers and you can make your own suckers tonight because she's sleeping over You can make whatever flavor. We have a whole setup for it. So, so try it. This is birthday cake And it's my favorite kind oh, That's really good. Is it really good? I mean your t face is all blue your mouth is all blue stick your tongue out your teeth are all blue out? But if you chew gum for Already? a second, yeah stick it out <laughs> Yeah, blue <laughs> Do you care? Like blue is where it's at Kaylee. It matches your shirt like one lick. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like bad. Like oh, I it will be. Was like just... Buy two gum and then it goes away. But anyways, do you like the birthday cake one? And then I forget what flavor, but Sophie knows all the flavors. Peach. 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 Mm. But birthday cake is my favorite. So anyways, you guys can make suckers tonight. Gabby knows how. I'm good with that. Alright. Hi ladies. <laughs> I'm coming in. So I wanted to tell you guys that today I met this really nice, beautiful young girl on Instagram. She messaged me and every day it feels like I meet really nice, amazing young girls. And, and sometimes they tell me like, you're like a second mom to me. And it just warms my heart so much. Like it literally just makes me feel amazing because I just love kids. Like when I'm out shopping, I notice them and I just really love talking with them and seeing who they are. It's like, when you talk to kids, it's like an opportunity to like, see their world unfolding before all the like, damage that happens through living and through life. To meet young people that are like, 
open and friendly and kind and sweet and amazing. It just warms my heart so much. But anyways, it was amazing. I, I love I love so many of you guys like you have no idea how many private messages I get from people and even if it's just for like one message or I talk to them for a couple of times every single one of them touches my heart in such a strong way like I can't even explain it however I can explain the level of coldness I have in my finger because when I find time to work with my mare it's always like such fleeting amount of time I always have to hurry up and that was the only glove I could find and in a pinch it has to do but yeah my finger is really cold like it's shocking how cold only one little finger can be all right let's do this star-crossed lovers you see her <laughs> I just love her I just love you penny pickle oh yeah and the arena is all full of poop because your dad fed you in here and now I have to clean that up before I can work with you oh that's so annoying Hold on, got my trusted flag here, which I love. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna take a few minutes and clean the arena because I hate working in a room that has poo in it. It's like the whole crew is waiting for me. We're all waiting for me, hello, Ollie. Yeah, you're such a good kitty, yeah. All right, don't knock over my camera, okay? walking so careful on the ice you know that horse has a good brain like she's penny is so cautious and so careful and it's so like smart and amazing it just amazes me but right now she's just standing in the middle of the arena she's like what are we doing laura tell me now <laughs> She believes in me. She believes in me. 
Watch your eyes. I just wish I had somebody here like telling me more stuff to do. I tried like doing some stuff, making her go through like going past the wall, like kind of like going through a tunnel, Stimul simulating going through a tunnel, but there's an annoying person in the room. <laughs> Penny is not pointing to her. <laughs> if I was really like taking time and really working with Penny, I would put the ponies in their stall. Sometimes I don't mind working with the Penny while the ponies are in here because I feel like it's good for her to be paying attention, to learn to pay attention to me when other horses are around. She's doing so good. So she, you guys know I've been working on this all winter and it's not that big of a deal, I guess. But to me it's a big deal because one, I'm brave. And because when she jumps with her back feet, always scares me. <laughs> but I'm brave. And number two, I got her to be confident with her back feet. And that is such a huge thing for her. Like. Anyway, I know it's simple and, and not that big of a thing, but to us is a big thing. Right, Pen? Right? I just love working with her and she's excited to work. And that's the last thing I want to say before I end today's video is, <laughs> the cat just had a little fit, is that I'm really been learning, something that I really learned this past winter working with Penny is to recognize when she wants to work and recognize when she doesn't want to work. And I know not everybody has an opportunity to just not ride their horse when their horse isn't feeling it or work with their horse when their, work, when their horse isn't feeling it. But if you're able to only do stuff with your horse when your horse is feeling it, oh my gosh, it's so much better. It's so much more rewarding. Like. If I try and force Penny when she's like in the middle of her afternoon siesta or if it's just before a meal or like any number of things that make it so that she doesn't really want to do it then she's not as receptive but if I wait and I work with her when she meets me at the door and I can tell she's ready to work then I always have such a better time and I think she does too. So that is it for today's video. Gabby and Kaylee are going out with friends for supper. Yeah, we're at that stage. I don't know how it happened. Gabby's almost 15 and she's going out with friends. Her friends are getting licenses and and it, things are changing so much. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the start of spring break. Don't you know that you're beautiful?